Welcome to another episode of Steph's World. I'm your host Steven and on today's video we're actually going to be exploring one of the Colombia's most popular uh, beach destination besides Cartagena. We are actually in the city of Cal uh, Santa Malta. Um, it's actually uh, further up northeast in Colombia. Uh, it's almost nearby the Venezuelan border and it's very popular among the local Colombians because it's very affordable. Um, there's a lot of beautiful beaches in the area. Right now we are in the Rodadero district. Uh, this is one of their main be beaches here in the Rodadero district. There's actually another one in the Centro Historico in the city downtown area. Uh, and then a lot of more of the top beaches here in the area is actually inside a national park called El Parque Tayrona or Tayrona National Park. Uh, we're actually going to explore that area. Tomorrow I'm actually going to travel into the national park and show, show some more images of some of the beaches there. But you know what? Let's enjoy Santa Marta.
Good morning everyone. Today is day number three here in Santa Marta. Today we are actually going to spend our day here in the Parque Tayrona. This is a national park here in Santa Marta. It's, to me this is one of my favorite places to visit. I've been here before and it's, uh, to actually get to know this national park you gotta come here maybe four, five, six, seven times because this national park is so humongous. But today I'm going to a spot that I've been before a few years back and it's one of my favorite beaches here in this country so far we're going to Playa Cristal and you know what let's explore Playa Cristal So we made it here to Playa Cristal, here inside the Parque Tayrona. This is one of the top beaches in the country. Some people say it's the second best beach. Other people say it is the number one beach in the country and one of the top five beaches in the world. As you can see, it is crystal blue uh, waters and the sand is very nice. Uh, coming here, we had to come in a boat, uh, about like a 10 minute boat ride before we came here. Stop and take pictures of another beach called uh, Praia Brava. Translated in English is like Mad Beach, something like that. Um, it's very dangerous to, according to the locals, very dangerous to swim at that other beach, at the Mad Beach. Uh, I'm gonna show you the images right now. Uh, there's a lot of uh, rip currents, so a beach with a lot of rip currents is very dangerous. I heard that there's people that drown. Uh, they ignore the the warnings and then they just go in and drown but you know what 
this is one of the best beaches I recommend you to come here so you know what let's explore this beach Porque no es grave. So we're gonna eat a typical meal here in the Caribbean coast. Cause I'm a vegetarian, I'm not eating the fish. Um, we have salad, they gave me an egg as a substitute, and this vegetable uh, rice, vegetable rice with the typical fly plantains. Okay. So you know what, let's try the rice first. Ah. It is good. I want to say thank you for watching this video of me traveling here in Santa Marta. It has been a great experience. I went to the places I wanted to go. Um, the temperature was perfect. Um, upper 80 degrees, lower 90s, uh, very low humidity. That's about 29, 30 degrees Celsius. Um, very cheap, very economical. Um, this place continued to be one of my favorite beach destination um, in Colombia compared to Cartagena. Cartagena is good um, but Cartagena is more expensive and more luxurious and there's a lot of more foreigners in Cartagena which pretty much make the prices goes up a lot.
compared to here because here in Santa Marta uh, the majority of the tourists here are Colombians people from around the country and certain maybe uh, other countries within the continent they come here to Santa Marta uh, like I said it's very affordable uh, one of the negatives that I did not like about Santa Marta and I'm gonna add Cartagena too the northern part of Colombia uh, there is more poverty compared to the interior of Colombia um, the interior of Colombia there's more economic development compared to here in the Caribbean coast so once you leave outside of the tourist area you're gonna you're gonna see the place like it's third world country pretty much so a lot of the people the locals they work in the tourist area because tourism is like their number one economic activity especially here in santa marta and because there's a lot of poverty uh, one of the negatives that i hated and it's very annoying maybe some of you have this experience is that once i leave the the hotel there's already people at the hotel door waiting to sell stuff souvenirs and trip tour packages and it's very annoying especially when you go out to eat in restaurants um there was people well i'm eating there's people coming begging us for either give them food or give them money or or buy some souvenirs that they're selling. And I'm not talking about adults, these are kids too. I'm talking about kids between the ages of five to 12 years old, they're selling like constantly and it's annoying, annoying. That's not why I recommend you, if you don't want to be annoyed, um, just buy, the, just buy the, uh, the trip packages that they sell out in the street and go to Parque Tayrona. Cause in Parque Tayrona, there's a lot of rules and regulation and it's, there's a uh, lesser salesperson and less people bothering you compared to here. There's the beach right here in the, in the main strip where every 30 seconds, every 10 seconds, someone is on top of us. Hey, uh, wanna buy this, wanna buy that? You wanna go on a tour to such place and this and that. It was so annoying. And that's a, a pretty bad problem in, in a lot of Latin America. I'm not just gonna say it's all Colombia, but in a lot of beaches that I've been in Latin America is like that. Um, like I say, poverty is very high here in the Caribbean coast, so it's going to be annoying. But you know what? Even with all that negative, the positives are more outweighs the negative. Um, I just want to say, if, if you're going to visit here for your first time, never been to Colombia, just stay in the tourist area, including in Cartagena. Stay in the tourist area. Unless if you know someone that lives outside of the tourist area, then you could go out with that person. That person could be your guide, your security person, because if you're gonna go by yourself, chances are you're gonna get robbed or even worse, killed. I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss out any other video of me traveling in pretty much any place around the world. And I wanna say once again, thank you, and until next time, safe travels.